Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I want to talk about Patek Philippe being a great equalizer. What do I mean by that? Well, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, somebody like me, me, with my, my five Patek Philippe's, um, it's, it's allowed me to meet a class of person I would never ever be exposed to. And and let's 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 talk about this. I mean, no bullshit, no bullshit. Paddock Philippe is it? Quick, quick, quick! Wristwatch check. I'm wearing a five one two seven Paddock Philippe white gold, one of the most beautiful Calatravas of all time. Guys, Paddock Philippe for me has opened doors that were never opened before. People who are super rich. Uh, super connected, super professional, have opened their door with kindness, generosity, and money, and money, to talk to me about wristwatches. And I've got to tell you, it's been the, the best uh, foot in the door you could, you could ever spend. Let me explain it to you. A lot of people, they send their kids to snooty private school. I went to Oxley State High! Oxley State High. Uh, and I then went to Kenmore State High, and I gotta tell you something, man, I never went to no private school. Uh, but you pay the contacts, you wanna know the movers and the shakers. I've met billionaires, decad millionaires, hundred people worth over a hundred million US dollars. I've met the lot. Uh, you know, I met the billionaire in Indonesia. Uh, me and him were talking watches. We've got a, a similar. He wouldn't give me the time of day. He wouldn't give me the time of day normally, but it's the watches. We're talking watches. We're talking Paddocks, Pussy, Lange. We're talking Richard Mill. We were talking watches, man. It's all the deal. And this is the whole thing. Paddock is a great equalizer. And I don't think there's anything that is so affordable which lets you into this secret club. Um, I've, I've, uh, you know, I mean, you think about it, okay? Paddock is considered the, the, the best brand, okay? It's like Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce may not be the best brand. Paddock may not be the best brand, but it's, it's up there. Entry into the Rolls Royce sector. Well, if you want a Rolls Royce that works, anything new is hundred thousand hundred and fifty thousand dollars sort of mark okay you can get us you can get a smoky spirit the people in the uk you can get a banger spirit i know for five thousand well thousand pounds okay sure but let's be realistic we want to we want to um we, you, you've got rust you guys in in the uk have got rust but you know if you join the ferrari club you it's certain entry point uh, if you join the Porsche Club, it's a certain entry point. And Paddock is such a, um, what, what's a decent Paddock? You know, I, I'm not talking, you know, as really small, just plain. I'm talking something interesting, something interesting to, to let you s smooth in. And, and, and s say a um, 5296, 5296, okay? 5296, what's that? 20,000 US dollars. 20,000, 20,000 US dollars, and you can talk to, you know, it's it's a very cheap entry price to talk to these people. I'm wearing a 5127, what's that? High teens, high teens. And you can talk to, you're on the same level as people who've got Aquanauts, Nautiluses, Perpetual Calendars. You're in the club. You, 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 you know what I mean? It's not sort of, you are in the club. And, and I mean 20,000 is a lot of money. 20,000 is a lot of money. I, I, I grant you that. But <laughs> if you were in Porsches, what's a decent Porsche? I mean, I'm not talking a banger Porsche. Well, for starters, it's got to be a 911. You know, the Boxster and the Cayman. Uh, it's not really a real Porsche. It's got to be a 911 uh, or a vintage. So big money, big money. Ferrari, Ferrari. What's a decent Ferrari? You'd have to have like a What's the, the cheapest you could get away with would probably be a, a, a Mondial. If you want a Mondial that worked, um, fifty to a hundred thousand uh, dollars. Maybe a three four eight, three five five, uh, three sixty Medina is probably the cheapest entry point in modern Ferraris. 
hundred thousand dollars for a decent one of the you know hundred well probably a bit bit less but paddock for twenty thousand you're in this exclusive club and i gotta tell you make no bones about it the thing about wristwatches is it's a pecking order somebody tells you what they've got and you know automatically what it's worth go on chrono 24 or ebay and i got a friend of mine i got a friend of mine um he's a porsche guy he's got a 964 and a 964 911 and a uh a 968 and he's 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 got a few rolexes few vintage and he's just considering getting a double split lange you know what i said to him man you go from being a douchebag to a a you know, if, if I'm here, you go from being a douche to a superior in one watch purchase. And, and, you know, a double split, a double split, you know. Um, that's just such a cool thing to go. And, and I salute him. If, 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 if he gets the double split, that's it. It's, it's, it's done. One and done. It's easy to outdoose people. Now, I, I mean, in my case there, I've got my little collection i i love it i got key reference points 5110 5035 5196 i got key three key reference point paddocks cheaper than a 360 medina ferrari and that's kind of the the thing about it this wrist wristwatches is it's a great level it's an equalizer that i'd never get to talk to these people without the paddocks and I, I think what what other things what other things are the best of the best that are transportable, safe and relatively safe investments, and give you access to gazillion airs and high end people. There's nothing like it. Patek Philippe, Patek, Patek, Patek. This this is this is the whole thing. The whole thing. Patek itself. It's Patek Philippe. So I've got to tell you, seriously, uh, I I think Patek Philippe is a great way to go. It really is a great way to go. There's nothing like that that gives you that access. And, and this is the whole thing. It's a great leveler. And I mean, I know $20,000 is a lot of money. Yep, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's, it's, what is it? It's, it's kind of like two sports Rolexes or, you know, you know, it, it, I, I get it. I get it. But you pay your entrance fee and you get amazing kudos in this club. And there, there's nothing, there's nothing really else. What is there there's, there's, for men? Cars, watches, uh, you know, that this is the, what else is there that has that pull? uh there, there's there's nothing really it, it it's i think i think there's a there's there's only so many things it's um the watches compared to car ownership you've got to store the car you can't take the car into a into a boardroom or into a restaurant watches are so transportable if things go wrong you can fuck off with your watches get out of dodge there's so many cool things you can do so I, I got to say, in all honesty, in all honesty there, I would seriously, seriously, uh, I would seriously, in all honesty there, I think it's a great investment. It's something very cool to buy. And it gives you access to some very interesting people. Uh, as well as the fact I love watches. I love my watches. And um, I, I I can't think of anything better. You know, what, what else do you want to collect in life? You know, cars is, is extremely costly. And, you know, this. but I think the watches themselves get into your paddocks. Man, it's, it's, it's an amazing club you're in there. And, you know, it's, it's, it's 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 just amazing so guys paddock philly i love i love i love my my paddocks i absolutely love paddocks and the thing about paddocks which i i adore is it's not just like rolex you just have the money you can buy it 
look I've just looked around Australia at the moment there's nothing no simple modern Calatravas for sale no world times no world times no world times at all uh, there's a few annuals uh, there's a few you know really high end pieces but that lower to middle ground there nothing so it's also the hunt it's not about just having the money you've got to go on a hunt and I, I can't think of a better way to go uh, the only other brand that comes close is probably Lange, Lange, but Lange hasn't got the history. They, they kind of, they came back. I think Paddock is, is, is the brand for, for Kudos. It's the brand. So, uh, guys, like, subscribe, tell me what you think. Tell your friends and, and, uh, don't be afraid to put some nasty comments. Paddock, it's a great equalizer. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. And there we go, one of the, the most beautiful <clears throat> Pateks of modern times. A key reference point in Patek history. The 5035, proudly part of the Archie Luxury Wistwatch Collection. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan Deville. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful, but you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down, but if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was. But most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author. Let dogs be dogs. Available in bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury, he's not just a figment of your imagination. <laughs>